next one, I'm surprised, makes sense that they actually announced it's going to release in 2020. That is Tokyo Mirage Session Sharp FE Encore. Yes, the Switch version of the Wii U. I gave my thoughts to this game multiple times. Yes, I do have the game. I know. Wow. But I did mention one of my video that I will buy this at $60. I will double dip in this game if two things have to be met. The criteria. One, the game has to be uncensored. It has to have all the content that was removed on the Wii U. The reason why they did it for a while was kind of like what Sony's doing right now. Reputation. They had. They were afraid some of the general consumer or the parents say, "I thought Nintendo Wii is for kids, so they had to cut some part out." And the one for me that I did not like it is the lack of English dub. Hopefully, this version has English dub already. I, including myself, I did my part. Haha. <laughs> A lot of people tweeted on Nintendo at their Twitter page about this game please have English dub uncensored English dub uncensored English dub I'd say the same thing so uncensored and has English dub I will buy for $60 no joke I will buy $60 I'll make a video about it so we'll have to wait and see it's gonna come out January 2020 so that's already there a bit of concern because why did you just mention it now but of course, a lot of this game probably already been developed a long time ago. You know how Nintendo works, so we'll see. Hopefully, I don't care. Pay dub, freaking Nintendo. You have the money. But okay, here's the reason why it wasn't really dub on the Wii U version. It was time. It was. It wasn't money. Nintendo have the money. It was time. What happened was at the same time. As we said, well, we're doing the English dub also with Persona 5. Persona 5, not Persona 5, The Royal, which is awesome, has English dub. I know Persona Q2 did not because it was a 3DS, I already talked about that. If I remember what I'm talking about here, I'll put the link in the description box of what I'm talking about. But they didn't have the time and Nintendo want to release it on a certain day. Okay? The Switch is not a Wii U. They can probably release it, people will buy this game to some extent. I will. If again, like I said, dub, English dub, and uncensored. There you go. Okay, so I mean that was awesome my part. So the next one that I wanna talk about is they announced Tetris 99 version 2.0. Now they're gonna put in survivor mode. I guess battle royale survivor mode. I don't know what it is. Also, two player can play versus a nine other players or 98. So it has to a total of 100 there. So again, Tetris 99 is a good, fun game, a battle royale style. Whoever invented the idea was really smart. And of course, the call on September the 6th, the press when I put this up. There's a, well, I don't know the physical version of the game, but there's a box version of Tetris 99 with all the DLC already included. Also, you get a free. 12 months or a year of Nintendo Switch online for $30. So I think that's great. You, you know, $10 for all the DLC. The, the game itself is free, and then you get a code to get online for you. So, speaking of the Switch online, okay, in the, in one of my video, I talked about how the rumor of the Super Nintendo might be going to Switch Online Netflix. And they had an FCC for the SMEs controller. And I said, it's cool if they do it. Guess what? <laughs> In the Nintendo Direct, they finally did it. So the one year anniversary. A lot of people were spot on. For the one year anniversary. Yes. Now, not only can you play Netflix, you can now finally play NES Flex. Let's just call it that. 20 Super Nintendo game. Release on September the 5th. And some of the games were cool. Star Fox, Star Trek FX. Never been in a virtual console because of the FX chip. It was a legality issue that they couldn't use the game unless you repay to able to use the game with an FX chip. And it's kind of weird 
I know Capcom did it with Mega Man X3, that's what it was, Mega Man X3 for the PS2 and GameCube, that was Capcom, and of course the Legacy Collection, but Nintendo never renewed or paid the contract to use game that has an FX chip in it, whatever, until now, Star Fox and with effects, Super Puyo Puyo 2, also they showed it there, it's an RPG, action game, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, a lot of people like the SNES for got better quality games than the NES. Already, September 5th, you get 20 games. And the best part here now is it makes more sense than what they did with the NES controller. Yeah, there will be an SNES controller thanks to the FCC leak. And it makes more sense how to charge this than the NES. So, the NES controller, you have to put it in the side of the Switch to charge it, or you have to buy some sort of external Joy-Con charger, but it doesn't have a USB charger. The difference is, the SNES has a USB-C Type-C to charge it, and you don't have to hook it up on the freaking Switch, because that looks weird. Seriously, that looks weird, man. So, awesome, they're finally one year. Should have been like six months in my opinion, but better late than never. So, next one, I want to give my thoughts on it, Mario and Sonic, they showed the old school mode, more mode, you know, their retro version, and also they introduced a story mode, which apparently some of the characters, they go back in time to 1964 Olympic, again, if you know your Olympic history, 1964, I think the first one that ever started the Olympics, so, you got stuck in that timeline, now you have to do Olympics, for, you know the sports in order to get back to their own timeline I'm assuming 2019 looks interesting and it has a story mode but the past one I had the very first one it didn't really have any soup like story mode it was just you know mini game here mini game there but it is what it is and then the next one is the Damon X Machina finally has a demo and this demo is not the prototype it's actually the improved because a lot of people gave them feedback about the demo so this demo actually is a prologue and if you finish the game, you can actually bring it to the full game when it comes out like the end of September. Again, I have to try out the prototype, I still have it on my system, but I'm definitely going to download the demo and see how it goes. And then Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, a classic PC game long time ago, now it's on Switch, I don't know how much it is, but hey, uh, whatever, but... Yeah, you know, it's Star Wars, Need for Star Wars game, why not? And then they showed some games of the future. Interesting enough, two things that pops in my head is Farming Simulator, yeah. I wonder who's gonna buy that Farming Simulator, but hey, whatever <laughs> there. Uh, but the one that's the biggest one here they showed that's gonna come out in the future is, and I think it's smart for Capcom to do this, Devil May Cry 2. I guarantee you, Devil May Cry 2, one of the best games ever for the series. I mean, really, it, it's better than the DMC reboot. It was smart for Capcom to actually release it. If you release the first one, of course, why not release the second one? How much will it be? I'm going to assume it's going to be dollars But yeah, I can guarantee you, this game is so fun. DMC 2. Yeah, and if you're wondering, am I being sarcastic? Sure, why not? Am I being serious? Maybe. Who knows? It's a mystery. But Devil May Cry 2, man, I enjoyed that game. So, closing this Nintendo Direct is they're gonna revive Xenoblade Chronicles from the Wii. It's on the 3DS, Xenoblade Chronicles Wii. I have that one, pretty fun. I can see the idea that came from. Can understand how Final Fantasy 12 also followed that same system. So, they're bringing back Xenoblade Chronicles. For the Switch, they call it the definitive version, and apparently they're gonna add more stories to it, than the graphic. Coming out 2020, I think that's cool because I've been playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and the uh, expansion prequel also for a while. But again, the games I have to be RPG. Dragon Quest and Super Neptunia is getting my way. Good idea there. But yeah, so if you're a fan of Monolith, if you're a fan of Xenoblade Chronicles, there you go. Awesome there. 
So that's are some of the games that I'm interested. Game my thoughts on the Nintendo Direct. However, there were other ones that I didn't mention this one because I wanna give that a particular video on its own. So that's gonna be next time. So with that, I'll see you guys later.